October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Here in the studio, we have Dr. Anthony Bonifacio, Niagara Health's breast imaging lead. Dr. Bonifacio, it's a good time with October being the month that it is, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, to talk about breast screening, how simple it is and how crucial it is as well. Yeah, it's a very good moment to talk about uh, breast cancer and especially for screening. Uh, breast screening, especially for organized and done properly, is very crucial for uh, women in health. Uh, it's, um, it's a life-saving life uh, screening a tool that we have. And it's important because it's important to um, detect the cancer early in the stage before spread into the body. At that point, we have a good chance to um, cure the cancer. It's a 100% almost uh, possibility to have the cancer cured. Is the first step self-examination before going for a breast screening? It's, uh, it's, a good, um, um, it's a good way to know your body. The self-examination uh, doesn't change the uh, expenses for uh, uh, cancer uh, survival, but uh, it's a good, the doctor, all the doctors, they um, suggest to have uh, self-awareness of your body. But you know if there is any change in your breast, and if there is uh, any uh, change in uh, um, discoloration for the skin, or if there is a dimpling, or if there is any um, uh, retraction of the nipple, all op also for lumps, uh, you feel lumps of lumps into the armpit. It's important to do that in order to uh, discuss these findings with right. the with the family physician, and then you have. Uh, further assessment with mammogram, ultrasound, or whatever needs in order to assess the area. Breast cancer is the number one killer of women? It is, it's a leading, uh, leading cause of uh, death for women in North America. Early detection is crucial for survival, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is important to have uh, a screening mammogram done periodically in a well-organized screening program. Um, the a screening program, the OBSP, Ontario Screening Program, offer a um, free mammogram for all women between 50 and 69. Yeah, you bring up age, at what age should breast screening begin? So the, the, we have a two group of um, <clears throat> women, one at average, average uh, risk and one high risk. The average risk starts at 50, 52, 69, which can be extended to 74. Uh, and for uh, <clears throat> the high risk women is between 30 and 69. What uh, makes someone high risk? High risk is uh, a family history of breast cancer uh, with the change in the genes and um, you have a more chance, more uh, chance to get the um, cancer early in, uh, in the age. So at that young age you need a doctor's referral but from 50 on you do not? No, the, uh, if you be part of the, if the women is part of the screening, it doesn't need any uh, doctor referral, as long as between the age of 30 and 69. And they can be uh, screened with a mammogram every year and also MRI in the high risk program. Niagara Health has breast screening centers in three hospitals? Yes, we have uh, three uh, centers. One is in Catherine's, one is in Niagara Falls and uh, in uh, Welland and all equipped with um, uh, high technology, with um, the digital screening mammogram. We offer also ultrasound and the tomosynthesis as well as MRI if you need it. Do you typically do more breast screening during October, during Breast Cancer Awareness Month, or is it just the time to remind people? No, that? it's just the time to remind that we do screening all year round. And um, it's just a reminder for the people. Doctor, are there any mobile screening options for women in Niagara? Yes, we have um, a mobile uh, screening bus that came to St. Catharines, as well as in Port Colborne and uh, Fort Erie. Uh, it's important for women who have uh, some barriers, uh, which could be transportation, as well as uh, lack of uh, physician or uh, nurse protection which re with referral to the bus. Excellent information, Doctor. Thank you so much for coming in here during October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Thank you for, ha for having me.